In the Criminal Enterprise DLC, Rockstar introduced a new and easier way to make money using your cargo warehouse. So today in this video, I'm going to show you the easy way to make money now through your cargo warehouse. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So when you first arrive at your cargo warehouse, you get a phone call from Lupe. So in this phone call, Lupe is basically saying, hey, I can go get cargo for you for a small fee and I can bring it back to your warehouse for you to sell at a later point. So then Lupe will be just sitting in your warehouse and then you can go up, walk up to her and just talk to her and ask if she can go get some special cargo for only $7,500 and then you pay her to go get the cargo and she spends one GTA online day trying to get cargo, which is 48 minutes in real life so when that 48 minutes is done there'll be a message that comes up that says how many crates she's got and she can get anywhere between one and three crates so as you can see right here i only got one crate and that's kind of worst case scenario but i'm gonna still explain to you even if you get worst case scenario every time why that is still not a bad thing at all so in order for this to make any sense i'm going to give you the crate values so if you decide to sell a small warehouse it's going to be fifteen thousand dollars per crate for a medium warehouse it's going to be seventeen point five thousand dollars per crate and for a large warehouse and this is what i'm going to base everything around a large warehouse because this will maximize your profits each crate is worth twenty thousand and in a large warehouse a large warehouse can store up to one 111 crates so if you do the math 111 crates times 20,000 that will give you two million and two hundred and twenty thousand dollars for every time you sell a large cargo warehouse but you have to pay Lupe to go out and get each crate so if you pay Lupe for her to go out and get a crate for you to sell off at a later point if you get the worst case scenario like how I did which was she only got one crate she can get a maximum of three crates but if she gets one crate every time that would only cost you eight hundred and thirty two thousand and five hundred dollars for selling your large warehouse for two million two hundred twenty thousand you subtract the cost for that which is the eight hundred and thirty two thousand five hundred dollars you can make a profit of one million three hundred and eighty seven thousand and five hundred dollars now you're probably asking yourself why don't i just do it the old way why don't I just go out and steal the crates myself bring it into the warehouse myself and then just sell it off and I get the entirety of the two million two hundred and twenty thousand dollars and the reason you shouldn't do that is because you're wasting time doing that you can do no work at all just all you have to do is go up to Lupe and tell her to go get a crate wait 48 minutes and then she'll come back with a crate I don't know you can do that for the near future and then you just slowly build up your warehouse without really doing anything if you're going out and stealing crates on your own you're actually going out and you're wasting time doing it yourself when you could be just doing Cayo Perico this is just another way of passive income while you do other money making methods like Cayo Perico or the casino heist I will say the only downfall to this money making method is that this is going to take a long long time in order for all the crates in a large warehouse to come in entirely and so you probably probably won't see the profits for this for a very long time but still you're not doing any work for this so it's really not that big of a deal well that was me sharing with you the best way to make money using the special cargo feature that was just added in the criminal enterprise dlc in gta online make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see me customize and test how special works new sterling gt